Hi there, Signs of Scorpio. This is Kim here with your next 48-hour reading. Thanks for joining me. Ask that your spirit guides and your angels join us too and get some good messages. I hope they have been wild messages. <clears throat> Hey, messages or Scorpios. I think we're about already. Bottom of the deck, the two of swords. It's a, a decision. It may be to separate or to split, but the, it or it could mean being split on a decision, um, putting off approaching or making a decision for whatever that's in regards to ten of cups reverse and there's judgment oops good two for the outcome <clears throat> Hmm. Well, okay, so the past has us um, maybe postponing making decisions regarding an investment or something that we're kind of invested in already here in the past. So it can be about kind of waiting for the fruits of your labor um, in a sense to there's huge change and transformation that's taking place, wanting to take place. With the um, Ten of Cups in the reverse with death or the change and transformation as the challenge. Judgment, which is the heart of the matter, is, well, that's about grace, mercy, forgiveness. Um, Ten of Wands in the reverse as the crowning energy is kind of like not carrying everything because you have a... A very strong chance of becoming exhausted from burnout from whatever it is and it, truly just another the Sun in the reverse is another expression of saying that same thing in the environment um, it's just no more energy for whatever this is and there's a feeling of um, here Scorpio of tied down to restricted or something like that the High Priestess is saying um, future energy, which is you being in touch with your intuitive side. Your magic, your intuition. Maybe having a knowing. A little secretive. That's not surprising, though. Two of Pentacles here. Um for your hopes or fear, which is change. And there's the King of Wands. So the King of Wands in this deck is really represented by this person who's like the actor, the director, producer, the person calling the shots. Um, so it might be a resistance to some change, but there is definitely a feeling of some kind of leadership connection here for you. Good news is paired with the universe in reverse, or that would be the world in reverse. So that's my good news card. <clears throat> the world in reverse kind of implies that something's still going on. Maybe it's regarding a um, forgiveness of a past, maybe not so great decision regarding somebody in your partnership. So good news on something about that. Tell me more about that. New um, investment opportunities, Page of Pentacles. The start of something that can be pretty great regarding an investment. <clears throat> A new adventure and good news. Two pages. 
that can represent um, sometimes children or younger uh, youth. It can represent messages of, so good news card, um, message of action. And the page of pentacles is the um, early investment. It's the start of something great. And it's like you're calling the shots here. So whatever isn't contributing to your 10 of cups, I feel like it is saying that it's transforming. Um, yeah. What well, situation where somebody let you down with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse? Maybe Virgo energy, possibly. Doesn't have to be, though. Somebody that didn't come through for you. <clears throat> that you thought would. Tell me more. And then the hermit, so leaving you to searching kind of within for the answers, not relying on looking outside of oneself, and very much so doing that soul searching work that the hermit does. Um, I think that's saying that that's the answer to some kind of feeling of um, restrictedness or you know, psychologically feeling um, anxious, like you have to do something or have to be restricted in what you can do. I don't think that's the case, though. It's just the feeling. So I think it might be anxiety over maybe a decision as the Two of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. Tell me about the Sun in reverse. The Queen of Cups. You do you. It's also... Um, Piscean energy are very similar to the high priestess energy as in, in receiving like intuitive nudges, um, taking really good care of your like diet, uh, food, exercise, and how well you're receiving your lo the love that you give yourself, like some more self-love, the more you end up receiving. So being open to that. And the world in reverse, I mean, it could be just like the journey is still going. Another page, hopeful new beginnings or hopeful fresh new starts or fresh start. Another page. So say anything else, anything else. Eight of Swords. It's feeling like you can't get away and, and you would like to maybe get away for a retreat or just to get some rest to recuperate. <clears throat> or it's regarding somebody that left the situation. So that might be being looked at. Tell me about the Ten of Wands reverse up there. Well, fortune. Well, it's time for some good, good luck to come in. Good fortune time for things to start going in a better direction meaning getting better news no, better messages here coming in for you next 48 hour it's a good reading this is actually a really good reading <clears throat> you're the director here just remember that being inspirational attractive good at what you do professionally knowing how to um build yeah the four pentacles building them um, onto your personal power Spiritually, materially, four pentacles. Kind of keeping to oneself like the hermit, maybe. Or just holding back a little bit because of saving on something. What about um, this forgiveness energy here? Judgment. Forgiveness for a past heartbreaking situation. It doesn't have to be third party, but three of swords just involves really bad heartache, sa sadness, sorrow, that the mind is maybe even going through this. Um, so forgiveness for what um, had caused a lot of hurt, possibly still causes some hurt. Got a lot of twos too in your reading. So give me some more on this. Forgiveness, Queen of Pentacles. It's that energy of being able to do it all. 
Um, be open to receiving. And the Queen of Pentacles surely is open to receiving. Look, Five of Pentacles in the reverse on the bottom. So you may be finding yourself on the lucky end of pulling out a financial hardship of some sort. So that's what I've got of your messages. Lots of good messages coming in. Lots of good ones. Um, growth, prosperity for something at home or a new investment. This is the Heavenly Bodies Astrology deck. Okay, I have Earth. Yes, it is definitely about your pentacles here, Scorpio. I have Earth, Persistence, Patience, and Practicability. And I have Chiron, Hurt and Heal. Hurt and Heal. Hurt and Heal. And it's about the transformation, too, between hurting and healing. Oh, wow. And you have Pluto, Transform. That's nice. Earth, Pluto, and Chiron. Now let's get this. Let's get the intuitive... Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. Let me get a sip of coffee. I hope it's not too loud. Probably was. There we go. Spiritual growth. 67. You're currently experiencing a lesson required for your spiritual evolution. Um, 52. Protect your auric field. Yeah, it says it's time to call in energy protection to shield, clear, and strengthen your aura. Nice. 39, the magic touch. You are accessing true magic from deep within. And number nine, hidden treasure. You have brilliant untapped potential just waiting to be explored. And then I have Earth Shift 72. You are very connected to Mother Earth. Um, and as such, you experience all that she does. And 22, creative projects. It's time to get things done. Making your uh, creative projects a priority right now will probably help things. And the Soul's Evolution deck we will pull from and then close out your reading with these. So that might be the hidden treasure is within this growth, the spiritual growth, feeling like you've got the magic touch too. That's nice. And this is really a card of overcoming the five of um, pentacle in a reverse. Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. It's nice. I almost feel like just leaving it like that. Look at the nice colors too those purples success i know that there is no greater goal than to love i know there is no greater goal than to love and blame i accept responsibility for my well-being i accept responsibility for my well-being and judgment i understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges Unique path and challenges. That's what I got for Scorpio. If you want a private reading, just check out the description box below for that information. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.